Here's my Swiss volcano self. I bought it about five years ago. I used it twice on trip. Uh, here's a picture. But I didn't like it much because I used it with wood and if you use it with wood it's quite hard to clean inside. I spent yesterday evening, all evening, cleaning this thing. It looks pretty okay now, but the inside is simply quite hard to clean. So, I thought it was quite use... no, quite a shame that I didn't use it anymore. So I thought of fixing this so it would work better. Because another issue is that the stove has the tendency to suffocate a bit. Not with a cup, but if you use the bottle. Then there's not enough space for the smoke to go out on these sides. With an alcohol burner it will go better, but I prefer wood. So I have the idea that I will raise the platform a bit. So just above these holes, so there will be better air flow from the bottom. I will make this a bit wider, so it's better to put in bigger pieces of wood instead of small twigs all the time. I will add additional holes here on the top. I will add an additional hole for the pot holder somewhere here or here. So this bottle will be higher, so there's more place for the fire. And then I will cut off the top of this bottle so, and add something like this breaking wire. So you have a hanger. Then this gives me the this gives me the opportunity to put this stainless steel bottle inside. And then I have this much storage space below for tinder, soup, food, whatever. And uh, when that's all done, I will spray paint it black and hopefully that helps a bit with the cleaning and not getting so much dirty. At least I won't see it that much. So, let's start. This is where we'll cut. Here we go. It got a little bit dented, so I have to fix it. The extra pot support or bottle support. The original one. And the new one. All the additional holes are done. 
completely around at the top row and at the bottom row I just added fuel on the back and not here on the side because there's a really big hole and this is how I will make the feeding hole bigger And this will be the new feeding hole. Now I'm gonna deburr it. From this piece we'll make the raised platform. I already outlined a little bit where I have to cut. So, done with the raised platform. Just above the holes. In the back, additional holes. Additional pot stand. Additional holes all around here. And a wider feeding hole. I've drilled two small holes for the cable, sanded it down. I already attached on one side the cable with one of those, I don't know how you call them in English, but they're inside of this for electricity connections. You know what I mean. And now I'll do the second one. I bended the cable a bit where it's supposed to connect to the to this point so it's easier to assemble it all. Now just find the right place. And this cable is from a bicycle. The brake cable of a bicycle. Okay. One is tight. And both are tight. And this gives me the opportunity to hang the pot, collect the water from the river, or just hang it down, more options. This paint is for the exhaust of cars and it's up to 700 degrees Celsius.
here we are finished after a whole night drying the paint we got a cup still the same nothing changed here inside is not painted and we got the elevated platform just bend it straight and it will fit in the bottom we got three of these things they're the from a bicycle wheel this will be to anchor the pot to the, the stove to the ground so it won't be that wobbly A steel flask good cable to hang it on if needed and the original aluminum pot bottle with cable as well so we got a wider feeding hole you got an additional ring of holes here additional few holes in the back and an additional hole here for the pot holder and now we're gonna do some burn testing I will test it with wood but also with three different kind of alcohol stoves from beer cans this is just a double wall beer can stove open this is a single wall penny can stove and a double wall penny can stove I want to see what is the big difference between these two and between the open one so I will take this all with me and I'll do some burn testing now so I travel to a forest set up my hammock and tarp because it's raining and we're gonna do my stove test right there I brought several different stoves as well to test but those are in a different video now we're just gonna test the Swiss Volcano stove with modifications let me quickly set it up and then we start so stove is set up now we're gonna ignite it I'm using as the first test the double walled penny can stove and I got 400 milliliters of water in the cup, ready. Wonderful. show you starting okay timer on milliliters of water and start And it looks like 3.30, we got a boil. Cool, 3 minutes and 30 seconds. If 
throw this away. So, it is almost ready, primed. This will be the second test with the single wall penny can stove. And again, 400 milliliters of water. And start. Stop. We got a rolling boil. Okay. Three minutes fifty six. Up. Throw that away too. Let it cool off. Third test with a open beer can stove. Four hundred milliliters of water again. Hmm. No boil. Almost, and it's already empty. And now for the main test with wood. I started already a small fire. It goes quite good. Now we have 400 milliliters of water again. And start. view around. The fire is going pretty good. It's not getting snuffed out at all. You can see very good on this side there that the smoke is coming out of the top holes and a little bit from the bottom holes so they help. And it looks good. It's a bit slower. No boil yet. But doesn't matter. Stop. We got a six. 38 and we got a boil. Good. So. Oh. So that's empty. Let it cool off. Last boil test for this stove with the aluminum can, 400 milliliters of water. Put in the the pot stander is at the new hole, the highest one. And here we go. To celebrate the quite successful modifications, I brought a real Cuban cigar, Cohiba, and gonna smoke it now.
stop. Ah, fuck. 8.45. He got a rolling boil. Not bad. Not bad at all. Success. Something that I want to show you is that after the boiling in the cup there is not much dirt, soof or whatever you call it, just a little bit there. Let's see how it is with this one. It's not really visible on camera but I don't see any. I'll throw away the water. Oh, there it is. Nothing. Perfect. <laughs>